Hello and welcome to Southend TV. I'm here today with John. You're here to talk about your book. Hi there. What is, what, so what's going on with this book then? Well, uh, this is my third book um, and uh, the previous two books were very different. This is even more different. I nearly said different than <laughs> uh, This is a, a collection of unpoems and short stories ah. and uh, it's designed, hopefully, so that uh, people can read it even if they don't really like books. In fact, it's a good toilet book. That's amazing. I quite like non-words. Um, Edgar Allan Poe had his non-words and I love those. So is that sort of the gist we're getting, a bit of topsy-turviness? I think so. The, the un-poem idea was that um, I've only ever written one poem before when I was about uh, 11, which is at least two or three years ago. <laughs> And uh, so I thought if I had called them unpoems, I would be edging into the John Lennon, Laurie Lee, Spike Milligan territory. Very nice. I didn't right. know the, the title. Yes, it's When the Pongs Go Ping. Mm -hmm. And uh, all of the stories, they're very mixed, all mm -hmm. sorts of stories. Uh, for example, there's one about the revenge of a care home guest. Amazing. There's uh, <laughs> ghosts, rebellious dogs, uh, angels, various different things in there. And most of the stories have a twist in the tale. Lovely. That sounds really interesting. I'm very, very intrigued. So I hear there was a charity element to the writing of this That's book? That's right. Um, all three books have been for charity. This one is for Greek Animal Rescue. And uh, we did this specially because we had a Greek dog, mm -hmm. fantastic dog, who was thrown in a dustbin on Lesbos. Oh, I hate those stories. They actually uh, break my terrible. heart every time. He had a toxic reaction to a sandfly collar. Um, and we met the people from Greek Animal Rescue. They operate on a shoestring. And they do wonderful work rescuing dogs that have been abused and ill-treated. Mm -hmm. They rehome them and they also do mass neutering programs. So I thought any money that I make on that can go to them with that's, pleasure. That's fantastic. So what was your inspiration behind it? Uh, well, uh, having written two books, one was about music because I'm a bass player as well. Okay. And then having written one which was described as Monty Python meets <laughs> the Game of Thrones... I wanted to do something Fantastic. different, um, and in fact, instead of having to find one plot, I had to find 50. But I really enjoyed the writing and hated the proof checking. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's amazing. Where can we go to find your book? It's on Amazon, mm -hmm. and it's on there in a paperback and in the Kindle version. It's also on various other places in Russia and Japan and various Ooh, other countries. That's very interesting. I'm going to go get my Kindle later. I've got to. I'm really, really intrigued. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. It's a pleasure and, uh, to meet you. Go get his book.